six killed in Nashville school shooting, including three children. A shooting took place on Monday, where Audrey Hale, a 28-year-old from Nashville, fatally shot three children and three adults at a private Christian elementary school. The school, Covenant School, in the Green Hills neighborhood, was for children in preschool through sixth grade. Hale had just begun firing shots after entering the building through a side door, armed with two assault-style weapons and a handgun. She went to the second floor and continued to fire shots before being killed by police. Hale was identified as a former student of the school. In the aftermath of the attack, there was confusion about the gender identity of the assailant. Officials used she and her to refer to the shooter, but according to a social media post and a LinkedIn profile, the shooter appeared to identify as male in recent months. The police in Nashville identified the six victims as Evelyn Dyakhouse, Hallie Scruggs, and William Kinney, all nine, and the adults as Cynthia Peake, 61, a substitute teacher, Mike Hill, 61, a custodian, and Catherine Kuntz, 60. Dr. Kuntz was the head of school, according to the school website. The shooting was targeted, but it was too early to discuss a possible motive for the attack. The police were reviewing writings, and they had made contact with the shooter's father. The shooting occurred in the wealthy enclave of Green Hills, where the small school and stone church sit atop a hill, nestled in a residential neighborhood filled with stately homes and lush landscaping. The Covenant School was founded in 2001 as a ministry of the Covenant Presbyterian Church. The school bills itself as intentionally small, with about 200 students, according to its website, and a teacher-to-student ratio of 8 to 1. Tuition costs around $16,000 per year. The police received a report of the shooting at 10.13 a.m. and heard gunshots on the second floor when they arrived at the school. Officers went there, saw the assailant shooting, and two of the officers opened fire, killing the assailant at 10.27 a.m. in a lobby-type area on the second floor. The school does not have a police officer guarding it. Schoolchildren and members of the school's staff were escorted out of the building after the shooting, and a total of 108 people had been transported to the nearby Woodmont Baptist Church. The pupils, dressed in the school uniform of red and black polo shirts, plaid skirts and khaki shorts and pants, held hands as they walked from the buses, escorted by the police, into a conference-like room inside the church. Elsewhere in the building, parents waited to learn if their children were safe. The shooting shattered the wealthy Green Hills neighborhood, where residents waited for news about the shooting or assurances that their children and neighboring schools had been released from lockdown. The incident has reignited the debate about gun violence and gun control in America. The Nashville Police Department said in a statement that this event was a tragic reminder of the violence that can occur in our communities, schools, and public spaces. The shooting has received national attention and has brought grief to the community. Community members gathered for a vigil at Belmont United Methodist Church in Nashville after the shooting. Lisa DeBusk, a Green Hills resident, said, It's terrifying when you see parents running up the hill. We're all resilient, but we shouldn't have to be in this. I never would have imagined this. The shooting has left the community devastated, and many are trying to come to terms with what happened. It's just unthinkable, said Megan Berry, the mayor of Nashville, who attended the vigil.